morning, East Lansing. Thanks for tuning in to MSU One. This morning, two of our own are out in Old Town Lansing experiencing the fifth annual Dickens Festival. Let's see what Elaine is up to. Thank you, Michelle. I'm here in Old Town Lansing where they have transformed the streets into a page from the Christmas Carol. Going on behind me is actually a version of the skit with the actual characters. Children are able to participate with their parents in ornament making, wreath making, and there's even a beard and mustache competition. Let's see what Adam's up to. Thanks, Elaine. I'm here with Lisa Wright, the events director of Dickens Village. What do you think the expected turnout is today? Ooh, I know last year they had more than 500 attendees, so I'm hoping that we get more this year. The local store owners are so excited for Dickens Village, and this has really helped them out because there's a lot of food traffic, and it brings, brings people to like the galleries in town and different stores and organizations that aren't very well known yet, so this has been really helpful and fun for them. Okay. Back to you, Elaine. I'm here with Claire and Genesis at the Girl Scouts Heart of Michigan building, and we're making ornaments. Are you guys having fun? What types of ornaments are you making? A tree and an ornament. A tree and an ornament? Mm -hmm. Do you think you're going to put these on your Christmas trees at home? Yes. Yeah? Do you have any other plans for while you guys are here today? Um, probably. Yeah, we're going to go see. Uh, and we're going to go to see the Wizard of Oz play. The Wizard of Oz play. Sounds like a fun day. Back to you, Michelle. Looks like a great turnout on a gloomy day. Next up on MSC One, find out how you can help save local businesses in your area. This is Michelle Pato from MSC One signing off.